Hello everybody, this is Charles and I'm back with my 50th special video review and guess what? This is for the future models Get a Robo Black Get a Real Mom Mode. Yeah, this is the one that I feel is most suitable. This is my 50th uh, video review for and this is the external packaging for the box and internally you have this that shows the internal structure of the Get a Robo and uh, what comes with this is the uh, personal autograph uh, picture by Professor Taku Robosado yep I believe that this is a personal hand autograph thingy and not a photo print because I've seen an online scan of a similar uh, autograph and it, the strokes are slightly different so I believe this is a personal autograph by Prof Sado himself and without further ado I'm gonna go to the robot himself this is the Holy Grail Black Gala Robo this is a very 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 impressive piece very heavy I like it a lot um, I didn't put in these three tabs alright because I'm gonna put him back in the box after this uh, review uh, he's really really nice really really shiny uh, he comes with this set of uh, claws like wolverine and it does come with this additional set of uh, uh, blades as well it's really really menacing really really awesome um, if you like to display him uh, in his uh, full wing mode, you do is take out the head, okay, and put in this uh, cape thingy, put back his head, and on the back, what you do, you're gonna insert the cape right here, okay, let me just find the place to put the cape in, alright. So uh, one thing this 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 mode okay this fully armored or uh, mode is that it makes him uh, very heavy okay don't worry about that um, I actually didn't plug in the head tightly and by the way yeah this is how the head looks like I didn't um, really push in the head very tightly so it came out with the least uh, little force so let me just do it better yeah okay. So uh, like I said, uh, the cape makes the body very very heavy, uh, it's straight on the back so if you wish to display him with the cape, it would be best if you um, actually display him with the stand that it comes with. Okay, let me just do a quick rotation on the on how the cape looks like at the back. Oops. Yeah, so as you can see this cape is really really very heavy and uh, I personally would not recommend that uh, you display him without the stand because it's really going to be a strain on the back. So this piece is really really awesome. Uh, it's the piece that kickstart the EX Gokin series, and uh, it's really really I think the best EX Gokin series to date. Uh, thanks very much to uh, Prof Saddle for bringing this to us. And at this point in time, before I end our review, I'd like to pay a tribute to the late uh, Professor Taku Robo Sado. Thank you very much for bringing this this wonderful piece to us. Uh, you really brought the Choco King level to, you really brought Choco King to a totally new level and uh, I totally respect you for that. I'm sure all of us collectors respect you for that. And once again, thank you very much for this uh, wonderful production. And uh, here's Charles signing off with yet another, so, uh, with another Choco King review. Catch you guys in my channel for more Choco King reviews next time. If you wish to display him with the cape, it would be best if you um, actually display him with the stand that it comes with. Okay, let me just do a quick rotation on the on how the cape looks like at the back. Oops. Yeah. So as you can see, this cape is really, really, very heavy, and uh, I personally would not recommend that uh, you display him without the stand because it's really going to be a strain on the back. So this piece is really, really awesome. Uh, it's the piece that kickstart the EX Gokin series. And uh, it's really, really, I think, the best EX Gokin series to date. Uh, thanks very much to. Uh, he's really, really nice, really, really shiny. Uh, he comes with this set of uh, claws, like Wolverine. And it does come with this additional set of uh, uh, blades as well. It's really, really menacing, really, really awesome. Um, if you like to display him uh, in his uh, full wing mode, you do is take out the head, okay? And. Put in this uh, cape thingy, put back his head, and on the back, what you do, you're gonna insert the cape right here. Okay, let me just find the place to put the cape in. I believe that this is a personal hand autograph thingy and not a photo print because I've seen an online scan of a similar uh, autograph and it, the strokes are slightly different. So I believe this is a personal autograph by Prof Sado himself. And without further ado, I'm gonna go to the robot himself. This is the Holy Grail. 
black Gila Robo. This is a very, very, very impressive piece. Very heavy. I like it a lot. Um, I didn't put in these three tabs, alright, because I'm gonna put him back in the box after this uh, review. Alright. So uh, one thing, this 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 mode, okay, this fully armored or oh, uh, mode is that it makes him uh, very heavy. Okay, don't worry about that. Um, I actually didn't plug in the head tightly. And by the way, yeah, this is how the head looks like. I didn't um, really push in the head very tightly, so it came out with the least uh, little force. So let me just do it better. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, like I said, uh, the cape makes the body very, very heavy. Uh, it's straight on the back. So, hello everybody. This is Charles, and I'm back with my 50th special video review. And guess what? This is for the future models Gera Robo Black Gera Realma Mode. Yeah, this is the one that I feel is most suitable. This is my 50th uh, video review for. And this is the external packaging for the box. And internally you have this that shows the internal structure of the Gera Robo. And uh, what comes with this is the uh, personal autograph uh, picture by Professor Taku Robo Sado. Yep, 